Hi Virgos, thank you for viewing me today. Welcome in, welcome back to Searchlight Tarot. I am doing your general tarot spread. I'm going to get started right now. If it sounds like something you're going through, this is your reading. It is general. It will not resonate with everyone. And I feel that I have certain messages for certain people. Uh, right now, the way those cards were laid there for me, I'm gonna shuffle and get cards. They're gonna fly out, but I feel like just by these four cards, I just wanna say something to you. Um, it feels like the tables have turned in your favor. I have the Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, King of Pentacles, Strength and Courage. I didn't even see those other two cards. And the King of Fire with the Nine of Cups. I'm going to put them all back in. But I just kind of feel like uh, whatever you've been... Because I remember your last reading was your preparations come to fruition or something of that. The Netcaster. But right now I feel like uh, the tables have turned, Virgos. Everything is playing out in your favor. Everything that you put work into, that you've been holding on to. Spirit guides. Let's see. Strongest current energies for the sign of Virgos. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Strongest current energies for the sign of... Oh, there you are. Virgos, this reading is for. Show me the current. Thank you. Anything else? A flipper. For the sign of Virgos. The flipper is the knight of love sideways. Boy, you're in an energy right now to determine to go after the things that you truly want with love. But. I think you guys know something's playing out in your favor. Wheel of Fortune's under the deck, you guys. And I have it with brand new opportunities of love and the Queen determined to have it. Right, right now around you with the Knight of Wands and something you're pulling in from a distance, the tables have turned. If you guys aren't aware of it yet, the tables have turned and they are turning in your favor. And I feel it's because you Virgos who have been building something new in your life, putting a lot of work into something to building a new structure, Spirit wants to say that the wheels are about to turn. Here's the Page of Wands that was under the deck. I have it with your Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the last card they gave me is the Ten of Cups. So I don't take any reversals or anything when I look at your current energies because I'm going to get all that right now. But what I feel right now is that whatever you guys have been putting a lot of energy to, you know, to, into, I feel that Spirit wants me to tell you that by you being focused on something and building something new and being eager to get something started, staying in your own integrity about your ultimate stability, Spirit wants me to tell you that the wheel is about to turn. I just feel like this is about you being determined to have it. I mean, the emperor, the, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna leave that right there. I'm gonna look at your recent past a little bit. And if it sounds like your current energies, this is gonna lead me right to here. And then I'll look at what's coming in for you and then love crossing towards the end, Virgos, if you're dealing with someone. But I feel Spirit wants me to tell you your preparations have come into fruition and the wheel is now turning in your favor, meaning everything is about to play out for you. The tables have turned in Virgo's favor. And that's what I feel. Recent past, I'm going to go over here and I don't know why. There's the King of Swords with the four. You really, you know... The King of Swords is the king that doesn't sway. Uh, very strong king of air, thought, vision, truth. I feel that you were, you were staying in your own integrity about something. It had to do with something you weren't receiving from other people with love. I feel that you realized that the weights that had to go down for you to come back into your own sun. And recently behind you, you've been planting seeds, Virgos. I don't know what seeds you've been planting, but I feel like you've been very nurturing, patient, Hmm. I just feel so. I feel like whatever you've been very focused on, tables have turned. And I mean they're all in your favor. Your ship's coming in. Recent past, a little bit. Why are these here in Virgo's current energies? Thank you. Just a little bit, please. Thank you, Spirit. Recent past for the sign of Virgo's. Thank you. Anything else I need to see? Why are these two in their current? 
something. You're going after something. And five of wands, a lot of conflicts, a lot of disputes. For the, I just feel like there was a lot of energies recently behind you. No matter how you tried, it was just like one thing after another. And four of pentacles here, I feel that it blocked you. It blocked something you were trying to master. It kept, something just kept coming at you. And I feel you were just like, oh. The sun and the ten of wands, ten of swords. Meaning, recently behind you, the weights that you started, that you've been carrying around, or the, all the things you were trying to do, I feel you realized that things had to come to a completion. You had, you had to get shit off your back. You, I think you, you stopped trying to be the people pleaser. I just feel that you came into a stronger energy because then I have big Aries, the emperor. You guys, you guys school boss stuff recently behind you. You're done because right now the tables have turned. I have the knight of fire and Virgo, the nine of pentacles. You were going after something, Virgos, if this is your reading. This nine of pentacles is self-mastery. That is you. Mm -hmm. Nine of wands sideways. Three of swords sideways. I feel there were things that did hurt you emotionally. And I feel that you came into an energy of realizing that it was time to just get over it already. And I just feel you guys stepped into this energy of, oh, I'm conquering something. I'm, I'm going, I'm, that's a very big energy. And then I have another king, the king of money, the king of earth. You guys, coming into your current energy of the two of pentacles, you guys, I feel, coming into your er current energies, have been realizing what's important to you and what's not. And there's one thing in particular, I feel, that right now spirit wants me to tell you, whatever you've been investing in, Virgos, it's about to come to the, it's about to play out in your favor. The wheels are turning, and that's the Ten of Pentacles, meaning you're about to have something. I have it with the Ten of Cups. You're pulling something in. Get ready for a whole lot of new opportunities flying in at you. It's right around you right now. The tables have turned in your favor from whatever you've been putting a lot of work into. I'm going to look at what's coming in for you now. <clears throat> I just feel there were some things that probably you had a hard time letting go of, and we all get there. Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords. It's, it's a place of, well, I've been hurt so many times. You know, like you're like, mm. But you got on your horse and you rode. You were after something. And you put a lot of work into it. And I just feel some things were blocked behind you, but not no more. I'm going to look at what's coming in for you. I'm using the Psychic Tarot cards today. <gasps> I don't know who's under these decks. If you've never viewed me, I have light and I have hope. You guys, the tables have turned. Partnerships and alliances. And stand your ground. You guys, something is playing out in your favor. Whatever you've been through and you've been putting a lot of work into, I, I just feel like the tables have turned in your favor. Okay. <laughs> Strongest. Incoming messages and energies. Well, energies. For the sign of Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Strongest. Next week to two weeks for Virgos. Thank you. Oh boy. Anything else you'd like to show me? Strongest? Thank you. Oh, you know I gotta know who that is. <sighs> I got triumph. You guys, the spirit is just saying, guess what, Virgos, in the next week to two weeks, you're going to win at whatever you, you've been focused on and putting a lot of work into. I do this in front of the window. I have, a, I, have, I have you guys being in charge. I mean, if you want to talk about two cards that scream the tables have turned in your favor in the next week to two weeks, these are them. I mean, oh my goodness, Virgos. Financial and material changes with positive movement forward. All right, Virgos, come on. All right. I mean, in all honesty, I see why you told me. They wanted me to take this card, and I'm like, why? But okay, I see now. Okay. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm being really nosy today. Mm -hmm. All right, Virgos, this is what I'm going to say to you. Whatever you've been planting your seeds with, everything's going to start to turn in your favor. I mean, the tables have turned. I mean, we got financial and material changes with positive movement forward. I got the emperor with the triumph card but spirit does want me to say one thing to you 
obstacles and challenges and emotional loss, meaning there's some things that we have to let go of emotionally instead of being attached to things with emotion to get around any obstacles. I feel they want you to just come into an energy of no, oh no, mm -mm. this is my territory. <laughs> That's what I feel. The last card they gave you is an ace. You guys, this is new passion, new inspiration. Like things inside of you are going to become alive. The power you're about to receive. And that's what I feel. I mean, I really do. I mean, there's no, I just going to say right now, Virgos, there's no stopping you. The tables have turned. Everything is about to play out in your favor. I just, I feel it. And I'm going to get some messages, then some messages from the angel guides today, and then love crossing. But let's look at messages. There's always messages. And I see the deck in my head. I don't know why I want to use that deck. But let's look. Underneath the deck, I do not know who's under these decks. I will repeat myself. I do have the three of wands, two of wands, and you're about to be handed a golden opportunity. A new solid ace, Virgos. I'm hopping on the Virgo bus. <laughs> I know I said that. I know I said that before, but this is, I feel this reading, it's beautiful. You guys, the Knight of Love, the World, and the Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, whatever has been a hurtful completions or whatever has wounded you from the past, it's over. You're handed an Ace of Wands, Passion Ignited. You guys are pulling something in. New chapters are here. Whatever you've been putting work into, it's coming in for you with a lot of love. I, I, I feel like you're just going to be in this energy of attr attracting everything because from your own self-mastery of something. Messages about these oracles from my beautiful Virgos. Thank you, Virgos. I feel this. Strongest messages. Tell my Virgos, Spirit. You can tell Virgos anything today. What would you like to tell them? Thank you for the sign of Virgos. Anything else? What other messages do you have? Yeah, see that one. Strength and courage, Virgos. Hold on to something about what you deserve because you're at the queen of earth. And the queen of earth is the queen of success. And the queen of earth is about self-worth, integrity. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. When I see these two cards, Strength and Courage, Major Arcana for Leo, and the Queen of Earth, you're about to receive. You're, you're about to come into this energy of everything you've worked hard for. And they want to tell you you're about to receive. Six of Pentacles. I'm going to say it. I wasn't going to take it, and I said heard it. All right, you guys, Seven of Swords. I have the Lover's Destiny. And I have the Five of Cups, emotional disappointments. Spirit wants you to detach yourself from emotional disappointments. This is the getaway card. You know, I mean, literally, it's a card of deceit, lies, betrayal. But I just feel like it's time for you to leave situations that have put you down an emotional rabbit hole. Because I feel something's about to be connected for you. This, to me, is the yin and the yang. And you're going to be really happy. And you got the King of Pentacles coming in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Virgos, I feel the message today is for you to release any emotional things that may bother you in the next few weeks. Come into an energy of knowing what you deserve and spirit is saying and it will be delivered. All right, I'm just, I hear, I'm, all right, hold on. King of love and I have big justice rolling in, but I have ace of cups. Oh, I see that flipper over there. All right, Ace of Cups is about new opportunities with love. And who flew to my left? But the Eight of Cups flew to my left, and I saw the way that card flew. And this is about time for you to leave things that have not emotionally make you happy anymore. Maybe they once did, but you're not attached to it anymore. Walk towards the sun. Walk towards a place of whatever has been hidden from you. There's no need to ever dwell on it anymore. Just keep moving forward, Virgos, because what you guys have coming in is brand new opportunities with love. And not just relationships with everything in life. I've got the kink of commitment, and I have it with justice. Two cards of balance. Balance the heart and the mind. 
and basically sit above your body of emotion and come into the king of water energy, meaning, you know, just patient energy of the king of love and justice will be served, meaning things are going to play out in your favor. Three of Pentacles, things are coming together for you, Virgos. This is a card of working with other people, marriage, job, stability, everything. I do have the tower. There's a message. These are messages. But I have your Ten of Pentacles. Spirit wants to say, you got everything coming in for you. But it's time for you to tear down an old structure that was built on a faulty foundation. It's time to build a new you. You know, I feel in the next few weeks you will have epiphanies about the things and people that you have invested in that weren't worth it because the tables have turned and now you're coming in to the 10 and king of pentacles meaning success money you guys got the emperor i've seen the ace of wands twice since then i see the ace of cups you guys have justice all they want me to tell you is if there's emotional situations that still eat at you get back into an energy of knowing what you deserve what you will have and you will have it it, whatever has been emotionally disturbing you, it's time to release it and know that those two cups behind you are about to get filled and they're about to get filled to the to the hilt. And that's what I heard. I had a hard time saying that word because I don't use that word. And that's what spirit wants to say. Your cups are about to get filled to the hilt. Just do not attach yourself to anything that has hurt you emotionally because justice is in the house. And that's just like, you know, a strong energy of just no emotion in that one. You know, the scales shall be balanced, truth shall be spoken, and it all play out in your favor. Time to build a new year. You guys, I'm just going to say, whatever's coming in for you, the tables have turned in your favor. Beautiful reading today. Congratulations, Virgos. <laughs> Whatever you've been diligently putting work into. I'm going to get a few messages from my spirit guides today. It always ties my readings together. And then I'll roll into love. Okay. Love crossing. Spirit guides for Virgos. If you have a few messages to tell the sign of Virgos today. Oh, they've been coming out so crazy lately. I don't know what's going on. All right. Who is this? Oh, Angel Michael. Okay. Here we are. This is a message. The King of Michael has shown up. And this is what spirit guides want to say to you. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. I mean, literally, this king has no, no emotion. It's just the king of, you want to talk about? Because whatever, it's just, you're, you're the king of it. It's like, everything is going to, I want you to look at this beautiful, can you see the colors around the king? Just a place of earth and doves flying and, a green brick road with grass and I mean I feel that you know just stay in your integrity it's all playing out in your favor they gave you the two of Gabriel angel Gabriel gave you the two make bold and ambitious choices now Virgos it doesn't say that but I heard now great progress is possible important relationships with people who share your vision Wow I feel like you're gonna be pulling a lot of new people in all the right people everything's about to connect for you they did give you the four of michael and this is about recharging your battery insights that come from quiet meditation the need for more sleep or time off seek relief from stress they're telling me to tell you if something stresses you out virgos withdraw from the situation and stay in your integrity because all tables have turned I'm just going to say right now, tables have turned. And whatever you are pulling in, it's massive. I mean, it's just it's positive movement forward. Oh, my God. And I have it with justice. It's like whatever you guys have been putting, some something is coming into fruition for you. The tables have turned. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Congratulations, Virgos. Beautiful reading today. I hope it helped you. If it did, please remember to hit the like button. But I'm rolling into Love Crossing now. And if you're not dealing with anyone... <laughs> Thank you for viewing me today. And thank you for all your love and support, you guys. Have a beautiful Sunday, a beautiful upcoming few weeks. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Now, try to stay out of the sun. Okay, well, I can't. I, there's a window right here. Love crossing, meaning 
the strongest love crossing energies if you've been dealing with someone it could be a lover most likely family member if you're in a happy union this probably isn't your reading because i see the seven of cups right out the bat and then i see the four of swords with scorpio i don't know who's under these decks and the queen of wands someone determined it so the queen of fire you know is is beautiful beautiful queen fiery energy but when i see the seven of cups what are you doing there i just feel like it's someone who is in an energy of wondering if they made the right choice about something because i saw it with scorpio but that queen is so determined to win it's a charismatic queen and scorpio and scorpio is all about someone who's shedding a dark cloak but that queen i just feel there was a lot of power there of someone it was the eight of wands someone who just wants to they're they're determined to have something their way i'm not sure what it is yet but let's find out love crossing strongest my Virgos have been dealing with. Thank you. What else do you want to tell me about the love crossing? Or the sign of Virgos? Thank you. I was trying to turn it off. I just felt like, oh, it pulls from me. Ten of Wands, but something's starting to feel like a giant weight. I think it's from someone who wants to win at something here. Here comes the star and it's justice. I told you. I felt it before I saw the cards. The star is... is healing hope and faith but this person i feel has been over stubborn about something and i feel they're just they're going back and forth back and forth and right now whoever you've been dealing with having a lot of epiphanies about something and i think it's about their viewpoint i feel that someone has been too stern now, if you're the cross watcher and it's virgo some of these energies can be reversed but this is virgo's reading i have the king of swords in reverse an over opinionated king <laughs> that's not a good one I have the magician four swords you see by somebody staying in an, an energy right now around them of being over opinionated about winning at something their trees bare the five of pentacles they feel isolated when they're virgos oh because virgo shut them out i already know nine of cups of sideways the devil and here comes a knot of fire it's a hot pony wow this is someone who's going between something that they think is their wish and something they think is toxic i'm just saying what i'm feeling uh, i'm just saying right now if you've been go dealing with someone who has done you wrong you guys have to walk away from emotional disappointments because the tables have turned in your favor you got new love coming in you got an ace of wands coming in you got a lot of new stuff coming in and that's what spirit wants me to tell you seven of pentacles is sideways i well i put work into this should I put more work into this or should I put work into something else? Because that's what I feel. I don't know who these cards are. Queen of Swords sideways. I don't like these cards. I've seen the King of Swords in reverse. Now I see the Queen of Swords sideways. Mm. Knight of Earth is sideways. And the last card is the Queen of Love. I like to see that. I feel that this person is realizing whoever you've been dealing with why do I feel like it's someone who's really focused on their own nurturing energy and not yours? I feel it. I don't like to bash people. I don't know what happened. Everybody's situation is different. But I just feel something here with the way the Queen of Cups is kind of looking at the Knight of Earth sideways. Like, because the Knight of Earth is a very solid knight. But when I see the Knight of Earth sideways, it's like somebody is like more concerned about their own nurturing energy because I see the Queen of Swords sideways and I see the King of Swords in reverse. So I know what I'm feeling here. But I'm going to, um, yes, I am. I'm going to look at their intentions. Okay. If any. What do I think? If they can get over their own hump. All right. Three of Wands, something at a distance. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Nighttime anxiety from the devil. They can get over their own hump. And I don't know who's under these decks, but let's do a few shuffles. One big one, at least. Love crossing. Intentions, please, for my Virgos, if any, in the next few weeks. Somebody who needs to get out of their own way. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't say anything else. Love crossing. Thank you. Intentions towards Virgos. Strongest. Next few weeks. Thank you. Anything else? All right. All right, you guys.
King of Swords. That's the King of Open Honest Communication. Four of Cups and Scorpio. If I need, that King of Error is all integrity. Steel. But it's with someone who... Why do I feel like it's someone who, in the next few weeks, didn't get out of their own way? I, I Listen, I don't know why, but I feel like this is somebody who does want to transform something. But with love, they've grown very discontent and bored with it. Hmm. Six of Pentacles, two of Pentacles going back and forth, back and forth about should I or shouldn't I? Should I wait to receive or should I give? And that's what I feel. Knight of Air sideways, three of swords, because whoever you've been dealing with, Virgos, they're still holding on to some broken hearts. They haven't healed from something yet. I know what I'm feeling. It's not just the cards, you guys. They have not healed from something yet. They, I don't know if they're going to communicate with you. I don't, I don't know. Knight of Earth, one of the slowest knights in the whole deck. High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune. And I have someone who wants a reunion in divine timing. This person, you know, this is one of the slowest nights, but it's like a very sturdy night. And I feel whoever you've been dealing with is trying to trust their intuition. It has something to do with if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It's going to play out in divine timing. I still feel it's someone who hasn't healed from something. I feel it's someone who's going through a lot of epiphanies right now about feeling completely isolated and a lot of self-fulfilling properties they've been having. Properties. Pro prophecies. I'm sorry. So this is what I have right now. I would say be open to everything coming in for you. The tables have turned. Release emotional attachments. Be open to what you deserve because you're, you're about to get it. And things are going to start playing out in your favor. And this is what I have for you today. I hope it helped you. If it did, please remember to hit the like button. It does help my channel. Thank you. I want to wish you all many beautiful blessings. Thank you for all your love and support, my beautiful Virgos. I'm truly grateful. Have a beautiful day in the next few beautiful few weeks. All right, you guys.